Alright, good morning 5B. Um, this is the second part of the video for today, 16th of April, Thursday. Okay, just now we went through the answers for SIN page 8. So today we'll be doing an activity, activity 5.2 on in your activity book on making the right connections, on connecting circuits together to see if they work and why they don't work. And after that, uh, you'll be also doing page 9 and 10 of your SIN. Alright, there's something... Uh, Quite strongly related to what we're gonna do today, All right? So, um, this video is to give you instructions on how to do activity five point two using the online software. All right? Yesterday, um, you have your hands. You tried um using the uh online software to construct circuit, having fun with that. Um, some of you did not really try, so I really encourage you to go and try the online software because um from this point onwards, a lot of activities going to do will be very dependent on you using the online software to figure things out and to learn from there. Alright, so um, let's uh, give you the instructions for 5.2 and let's also bring you through how to construct the different uh, circuits here using the um, online software. Alright, so what we're trying to do here, we're trying to find the different ways to form a closed circuit uh, using wires, using battery, using a power. Okay, exactly what you can do on the online software. So what you will do is you will access the uh, link for the circuit construction kit um, from the SRS lesson and then you will start constructing all this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and later try nine different ways of connecting a battery, a wire and a uh, light bulb together and see whether the uh, light bulb lights up. So your key, uh, key objective here is to make sure or to test whether each of these for the bulb light up or not. All right. So um, so let's get started. Okay. So let's say we look at A. How do we construct this in the circuit construction kit? So once you click on the link, it will bring you to this website. All I need to do, click intro. Make sure you change from electron flow on the right hand side to convection flow all right then after that let's uh, see how we can construct that uh, circuit on the uh, online software okay so i need a battery and i need a light bulb so i take out a battery i take out a light bulb so i want to make it look the same so i'm going to turn this battery around to be something like this and then the light bulb i will put up here all right so this is for a now i'm going to use wires to connect so i have a wire coming down from the bottom and then i have a wire going up okay in in real life cases this might be just one single wire all right but um for the sake of construction we just use two different wires over here and then after that it will go to the positive terminal okay do realize that in part in circuit A, the wire connects to both the negative terminal and the positive terminal. Okay, so let's put it in. And then you see what happens. Does the bulb light up? The answer is no. The bulb doesn't light up. So once I see, hey, the bulb doesn't light up, I'll put a cross. Okay, so let's put a cross. Cross. Um, although the question only asks you to put a tick, for those that is uh, working, if you if it's not working, just put a cross for me, All right? So let's do another one. Let's do something more complicated. So let's do something like uh, E, for example. Let's do E, for example, on the circuit construction uh, kit. Okay. If you see this happening, this is actually what we call short circuit of circuit. A uh, short circuit. A uh, short circuit of um, the whole setup because the electricity electric current is running through and through and through very rapidly causes the battery to overheat and sometimes it can even explode okay so now we want to do e so let's construct e let's take up this away so in order to break it up click on the circle click on the scissor sign and it will be disconnected okay so let's put this aside first okay so let's say i want to remove all this away you can either put everything back okay let me just disconnect everything away Disconnect. Okay, so a few ways to remove all these extra things 
you can either put it back into the diagram or into the menu or you can actually just press delete button it will be deleted or you click it and then you see a trash bin just click the trash bin so there are three ways move it back to the menu press the delete button on your keyboard or um, once you click it there is a um, dustbin sign just click on the dustbin sign so for e i have a battery i have a bulb okay so i'm gonna turn the bulb this way i can actually turn the bulb something like this i'm gonna connect the metal casing to the positive terminal which is here connected then i have a wire going from the negative terminal to the metal tip so i have a wire over here going to the metal tip all right so you realize that um, i have a wire going from the negative terminal to the metal tip so let's connect them and you see that the bulb actually lights up and you can see the flow of the electric current so the red color arrows show you the flow of the electric current okay and and since this is a closed circuit there's no gaps in between the circuit the bulb lights up so let's go back over here um i know e the bulb lights up so i put a tick like this okay simple as that okay it is a closed circuit you can actually trace you can actually trace the flow of electric current so let's try to trace using blue okay i can go from the positive end to the metal casing to the metal tip and then one big loop over here of course it goes through the filament and everything right so from the positive terminal metal casing go through the filament go all the way to the negative terminal and it repeats all over and over again okay so this i'm not going to do everything for you i want you to try on your own try from a to h and then later for i they want you to actually draw another circuit in which the bulb lights up in i so use your creativity draw it and then i want you to test it out okay i want you to test it out using the circuit construction kit online okay you have to test it out okay and then after that you complete the conclusion for me so this is how you construct um circuits on the uh circuit construction kit okay try it have fun and i want you to be quite good at constructing because from here onwards we'll be using a lot of this software to uh, for learning all right so see you tomorrow